In this video I'm going to show you how to change the colour scheme of any aircraft in flight simulator 10. First of all you'll need a few programs, uh, DTX, BMP which will be in the description, either Photoshop or Paint or whatever you prefer to use as a editing software. So let's get straight into it. If you open DTX BMP, open. What you'll need to do is find out the location of your aircraft. As I've got Flight Simulator Steam Edition, mine will be under C Drive, Program Files 86. Then into Steam. Then Steam Apps, then Common, Flight Simulator X, then down to Sim Objects, Aeroplanes. Depending on which aircraft you want to use, you select the plane you want to use. Here you have different texture schemes which is already pre built. For this one, I'll be using the red. As you can see, the different files within here. Anyone's got a, a dash T is basically editable. So let's go on to this one. As you can see, to change your editor, you click on here and it'll come up and you just select the EXE of what you wish to use. As you can see, I'll be using Photoshop, so it's my preferred software. Uh, once you've got all this in place, you need to go to uh, Image Center Editor. That will open it up in your editor. So basically, you can work just like this by changing the colors and everything, but I like to do it a little bit more complex. Uh, what I do is I use a selection tool, zoom in, quickly highlight the selected area of which I want to use. Obviously this is not going to be perfect because I'm just doing it as a demonstration purpose. You'll be using a hell of a lot more care I hope. Now we've got the rough outline of the front fuselage of the plane. If you right click on it, and copy via layer. And as you can see, we've got the front end of the plane. If you do the same for the back end of the plane, make sure you click the background otherwise it won't work. Just a quick tip for you, if you press the left alt key 
it will turn the icon of the mouse into a negative. If you let go and make it into a positive, this is to add or subtract areas that you've made mistakes, like here. Hold the shift key and it'll bring it back up. So, right click, layer by copy again. Now, as you can see, we've got these parts. Oh, wait a minute, looks like I made a mistake there. Didn't realize that was highlighted. Just press Ctrl Z to step back, and I'll just delete this part here. Right click again, copy by layer, if you move the background layer, you'll see I've got the front and the back. Not on the background layer. Some cases you might need to reduce the size just to get it a bit more tighter. It doesn't necessarily have to be spot on. But again, right click copy by a layer. Click on the background. The final page for this stage will be the side door. All 
right click, copy via layer. Now what I like to do is go on to new a full size piece of paper I think that would be more than enough and each one of these I press control A to copy it all control C to copy it all onto the new piece of paper then control V to paste it Again, control A, control C, control B. And again, control A, control C, control B. Control A, control C, control B. Then what I like to do is arrange this so it looks like a plane. You'll never get it bang perfect, but that's as close as you really need it. And this door, I believe, goes just in this bit here where it curves. You can see there's a curve there that matches. About there. And what I do is, I just go around, change the colours of the plane. Let's go for a nice green. Make life a bit easier. You may want to rename these just so you know. And so, click on the paint tool. Always remember to select the layer that you're wanting to use. Now, if you want to change the reg, pay, reg plate, uh, I believe it's that one. Basically, what I do is get the color picker tool. Select a region around it, paint the numbers in, in that colour. I'm not on that layer, am I? No. That one. Try again. Just to get rid of the, the bulk of the lettering and just use a paintbrush just to go over it. Right, 
like so. And then just add some text. To add text, easily highlight an area which you, where you want your text. Obviously you can use any type of font or colour. There you go. And what I like to do here is this layer, turn all the layers off apart from these two layers which is your text and the front of the plane then right click merge visible now them two are one item then what I do is is control A to select all that layer and control C to copy all that layer and go back to your original layer and you can if you wish either turn these little eyeballs off so your new layers are now not seen make sure you're on the right layer uh, control A control C Control V to paste it, and again just slide it up. Make sure the bar is highlighted so you know you've got that layer selected. Control A again, Control C again, and Control V on here. Final piece of jigsaw again. Control A, Control C, Control V. There you go. Then to save it, save as. I save mine on desktop as test one two three. You want to just add a BMP. Save file. I already have one called that. Replace. OK. Then, back to this piece of software. Go on to File, then Open. It will try and open the last file that you saved. And this bit here is that file name. You'll need to copy that because in a minute you'll be replacing it with this new file. So go all the way back to your desktop. Paste that. Importantly, by back past experience with this you need to flip the image so it's upside down don't know why it won't work without it then save as DDS texture then you want to go and find your where the original file is which is C drive in my case program files 86 Then Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Flight Sim, C, 
sim objects, airplanes, and the plane and the folder what you've saved it. And delete this part out and paste your new file in. Do you wish to override it? Yes. Then if we open Flight Sim up, make sure you have show all the orientations of the plane on. And I believe we change the red one. And now it has a new paint scheme. This is also other parts of the plane that you wish to change, like the wings, for example. Again, open. In my case. I'll find out the correct folder for uh, Windows Flight Simulator and put the link to the file in the description. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Flight Sim, Sim Object, Airplane. So this is one we've already, we've just changed. But let's say we want to do something else. Everything with a T is a part of the plane. There's B dash T, C dash T, and so on and so forth. But for this one. I want to be dash T. As you can see, this is the underside of the wings. Then basically do the same procedure as I did for the fuselage. Any questions or anything I can help with, don't hesitate to ask. I'll see what I can do to help. Thanks for watching.